Hey guys, it's Whoopsies, and I am back doing a sort of a guide, but more really just um, some of the jargon and lingo that gets tossed around in Dead by Daylight might be a little bit confusing to people who haven't necessarily played the game. And I had uh, one of my friends who was nice enough to hop in my stream the other night uh, comment on the fact that sometimes some of the things that I'm saying don't exactly make a ton of sense as they're coming out of my mouth unless you've been playing the game for a while. So I wanted to quickly go through a list that I made of the perks that the names and terms that streamers and people who play the game use for these perks don't exactly 100% line up with the actual name of the perk. Now, for a lot of these, it's mostly just shortening the overall name of the perk down to uh, one word, but there are a couple that I wanted to mention that there is a acronym or some other term that people use for it that might throw people off if they don't understand the game. So uh, the first one we've got here is a nurse's calling. That's usually just shortened down to nurses uh, and to refer to just the, the main operative word of the perk name. Next we have agitation, which people refer to as agi sometimes. The epitomous barbecue and chili, which shows up in almost every killer build, is usually sh shortened down to barbecue. The next one is bitter murmur, which is just referred to as murmur. Corrupt Intervention, which people just refer to as Corrupt. Coup de Gras, which people use just say Coup or Coop interchangeably. Then next, we go all the way down to Franklin's Demise, which people just call Franklin's. And then next we enter into all of the Hex perks. So whenever someone's describing a Hex perk, they usually just remove the word Hex from the name, because if you've been playing the game long enough, it's implied that you already know that these are Hex perks. So we have Blood Favor, Devour Hope, which is further shortened all the way down to just the word Devour, Haunted Ground, Huntress Lullaby, which is shortened to Lullaby, Hex No One Escapes Death is a special case, because it's such a long name, and not a single word in there would capture essentially the whole term. People have changed it to the acronym NOED, which most people will pronounce as NOED. So if you hear someone talk about NOED, they are referring to the perk Hex and No One Escapes Death. We've got Retribution, Ruin, and the Third Seal, which people just refer to as Third Seal. Thrill of the Hunt, which people shorten all the way down to Thrill. Or I've also heard someone use Toth. So similar to NOED, how they use an acronym for it, it's T-O-T-H. That's not super common, though. We've got Undying, which is the last of our Hex perks. We have Infectious Fright, which people just say Infectious. Monitor and Abuse, or Monitor. Another super common perk that shows up in a lot of builds is Pop Goes the Weasel, but people usually just say Pop. We have Spies from the Shadows. And Sloppy Butcher, which people just call Sloppy. Then another interesting case, Thanatophobia, even though it's a single word, we usually just get shortened down to Thanat. We have Thrilling Tremors, which a lot of people shorten to Thrilling. Unnerving Presence, which people shorten to Unnerving. And Zanshin Tactics, which is another rare case, but I've heard people shorten it both to Zanshin and other people just shorten it to Tactics. And I thought it was, was an honorable mention just because it's pretty uh, confusing to a new player if you just hear that someone is using Tactics, because that's kind of implied that someone would have a strategy when playing the game at all, and might not clue someone in that they're referring to this specific perk. So those are all of the perks that I thought uh, it might be good to mention the name of the perk and what the community might have shortened these terms to so that when you are out there playing Dead by Daylight or watching YouTubers and streamers play the game, you will have a better understanding of what they're talking about. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will hope to see you guys in the next one.